Brian is going to become the world's first weatherman to give a forecast entirely based on weather folklore. Well, it's going from bad to worse, isn't it? I mean, last show I was doing press-ups and now I'm going to have to produce a forecast based on what I've learned tonight. So what I'm going to say is next Wednesday is St Swithin's Day. And at the moment, it looks like we're going to have high pressure influencing the weather in southern England more than in the north. Uh, so I'll extrapolate that forward and say that through the rest of July and August, we should have some nice, fine and sunny periods, especially in the southern half of the UK. And it'll probably be more unsettled the further north that you go. OK, oh, that's good, uh, interesting because, of course, since Swithin's Day, the saying there is that the weather on St Swithin's Day is repeated for the next 40 days. So if it rains, it will carry on raining. And if it's dry, it will it will stay dry. Um, will there be some red skies at night to delight any shepherds? I think there could well be, as I say, especially in the southern half of the UK. OK, so that's good news. Any, any shepherds, you can leave your sheepskin coats at home. Um, some we're expecting some colourful sunsets. They show the... Uh, often show the arrival of dry high pressure coming in. We've obviously had a wet start to summer without much high pressure. So more high pressure ahead. But what about Brian Gaze's pine cones? What are they predicting? <laughs> I think they, they're, in, they're looking forward to sunning themselves at times in the coming weeks. So, yep, I'm, and I'll be joining them. <laughs> so pine cones open up when good weather is coming according to the famous folklore so we're expecting open pine cones and the sunbathing weatherman it seems and um, what about fields full of cows will, will they be lying down sunbathing as well well if, if you know if this folklore based forecast is right i think we're going to see the cows standing up quite a lot because uh, there hopefully won't be too much rain on the way okay oh yes yeah they, they tend to lie, we think they tend to lie down when, you know, when it turns cooler and rain, cloud, uh, you know, cloud, cloud and rain push in. I know Brian likes to keep this a secret, everyone, but I know the weather stick is his favourite piece of apparatus. He consults it every day. Brian, what's your weather stick saying? <laughs> well, again, we've learned that the weather stick points upwards to predict uh, dry weather and downwards to, to predict rainy and bad weather. So... So again, based on the folklore forecast for weather sticks, hopefully going to be pointing upwards more often than downwards. Okay, yeah, with the weather stick, the stick of, of uh, fur from New England in the uh, west coast of, sorry, east coast bay part of the States, twists upwards in low humidity, so dry weather, and downwards in high humidity, so wet weather. 